Yo, what's up guys, it's the Goblin, and today we have for you guys a 52 to 1 TDM with a nuclear on the map raid. I'm actually using the MSMC, and this is for my series, the nuclear with every submachine gun. This is a really awesome gameplay here, because in this gameplay I'm actually using the lethal kill streak, which is something a bit different for this series. You know, in this series I'm usually running the non-lethal UAV, counter UAV, or VSAT, or UAV, VSAT, and EMP is the other one I like to run. But in this gameplay I'm actually using the big streaks, the Blackbird, or VSAT, Dogs, and Swarm, and then I'm also going to be running and being able to get the nuclear. In this gameplay, I start off with the MSMC, and I'm using a bit different of a class setup as well. Not the usual silencer that you guys are used to seeing from me. In this gameplay, I'm actually running with the stock, and also the uh, the stock and the fast mags, basically. That's a really good class. It does lots of work. As you guys can see, this is a regular 6v6 TDM, which is also something you don't really see much of, but I get 52 out of my team's 75 kills, which is absolutely beast, and you will see once I get my swarm and dogs, they do quite a bit of work. So this is again for my other series, the nuclear with every submachine gun. If you guys want to see more face cams in this series you guys can just let me know with a comment and uh, as soon as this episode hits 2500 likes is when I'll have my next episode up uh, with the next SMG and uh, that's basically how it's going to be doing I'm going through all the SMGs getting nuclears and it's been a ton of fun I've got some pretty pretty good nuclears especially towards the end of this series some long gun streaks I actually got like a 50 gun streak with the MTAR uh, assault rifle and I got like 140 kills as well which was a really beast gameplay in my opinion so you can see right here once I get my VSAT it's very easy to work in 66 TDM, I would recommend running the VSAT, but the thing that's bad about it is sometimes your teammates will snitch off you, and they will start to steal your kills from your VSAT and stuff like that, which is something that cannot be the best all the time, you know what I'm saying, when your teammates start to steal your kills, so sometimes I'll run the load star, but I just find that on this map for raid, I can rush them and I can get the kills before my teammates, that's basically how I like to play 6v6, as I go straight for the enemies, I don't play it like ground or I don't play it safe at all, I run straight, head on, bull rush the enemies and uh, if I die I die if I get the kill I get the kill and it's basically trusting my own gun skill and just going balls deep all the time be able to pick up my kill streaks so there I get my set of dogs and then I get my set of swarm I'm basically a 6v6 TDM the only you only have time for basically one set of kill streaks so that's all I get but you can see I'm still able to pick up 52 kills and I die right at the start of this game and I'll pick up some different weapons as well when I come around here I think in a minute here I pick up an MTAR with an ACOG scope and I actually get like five kills with that and then I pick up the MP7 and uh, get a, like five more kills with that, but then I do get the nuclear. And nuclear is when you're using uh, assault streaks. I, I would say this is more of an assault streak setup if you're using, you know, lethal streaks. Or this is the weapon that I pick up. It's uh, the M or the LSAT with the target finder. But I'd say you're using more assault streaks are the kill ones that get kills, like dogs and swarm. And then if it's more support streaks, it would be like UAV, counter UAV, VSAT. The non lethals are kind of like the support streaks of this game. And the assault streaks are the ones that do all the work and go ham with the kills and stuff like that. So you'll see here in a second, I pick up the MP7 and then I just absolutely go crazy to end this game. I was going for as many kills as I was, as I was able to get and 52 was quite a bit. It's not my highest kill TDM ever. I've had uh, I think close to 60. I think uh, 56 or something like that was the highest kills I've ever gotten in TDM. But I've been going for like some 65 kill TDMs. I think it would be pretty sweet if, you, if I was able to get like maybe like a 65 kill TDM uh, with my team. You know, it only goes 75 kills. I'm also playing solo. You know, you'll see some gameplays where people will get 75 kills TDMs, but they'll get uh, a full party and have them all hide in the back, and that's not what I was doing. I basically run solo, and it's basically a race between me and my teammates, because I, I trust my abilities in 6v6 TDM that I can carry the team, and I don't lose this game mode very often, because I trust my ability to carry the team and be able to win in every certain situation. The thing that is, is it's basically a, just a race between me and my teammates to see who can get the most kills uh, quickest, because I'm just going for as many kills as I can, and I don't really care about the deaths, but obviously I want to build up to my kill streaks. So this is the last bit of this gameplay. You guys can see I'm in a rush for kills. I picked up a double kill over there. I pick up a triple kill. And then I run back through here, get a few more kills. There I pick up the nuclear. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, could you go ahead and drop a like on it. At 2,500 uh, likes on this video, I'll have the next episode out. And you guys can check out the latest episode down in the description below or on the screen right now. And as always, subscribe for a cookie. I'm out. Peace. Tell me, world, did I pass your test? Did I do this right? Please tell me. I need you now. Please help me. Because life don't come with no manual. I played the cards that you dealt. Me. My life is on the line every time I rhyme, always on the grind 24 7. So much on my mind, someone please remind me that I'll be fine. Where am I heading to the fans? My life I owe you. So close to my heart, I hold you. But to anyone who ever thought of doubting me, I'm so proud to say that I told you.